stay at nine. Tune in every time. We don't do no cap. Report only facts. The Progress Report. What's going on, y'all? It's Boss Brit the Most Lit. What's up? It's your girl DJ Excel. And I'm Wawa Shepard. <laughs> Y'all already know the, the progress support. support. You know what I'm saying? Take the mile the edition. We got our margaritas. Hey. hey. It's Excel Holiday, man. Make sure y'all cash up her at DJ Excel. Feel you know free to cash at me. I'm definitely Puerto Rican, though. <laughs> and Puerto Rico is definitely part of the United States for those that don't know. Hey. Like I said, it's my nigga holiday, man. Did you miss me? Yeah, I just I went did. to your motherland. I just went to Puerto Rico. And it probably was the best thing you ever experienced. It was so fun. I can't stop smiling. Let me calm down. <laughs> What's going on? It's your girl, Lala Shepard. Boss Brit the most lit. What's up? It's your girl, DJ Excel. And look, we interview some of the biggest artists on the come up. Hey, man, if you ever in Atlanta, y'all make sure y'all hit us up now. Hey, hit us up today. It's where you need to be, man. A progress support. DM us right now. Let's go. Not, you not. <laughs> it was so fun. I know it looked fun. I'm fucking jealous. It's okay. We about to be in DR lit with it. Lala's not here tonight, but you know what I mean? You got us. The better part. We gonna hold it down. Shout out to Lala, man. She out there on the goddamn vacation. I feel dumb as shit with this hat on. I ain't gonna lie. No, rock it. All right, I will later. <laughs> All right, so we got some guests tonight, you know what I'm saying? But you know how we started off with that weekly evaluation. So we gonna go ahead and get right into it. Let's go. We gonna start with my guy, Moneybag motherfucking yo, man. Because that's my nigga. You fuck with Moneybag, yo, right? Hell yeah. Now, you said you liked this album. You rolled through it, right? The yeah. whole thing. I, I didn't... I didn't like every song, but I mean, I it was it was few tracks it was on that pretty thing. solid. Like I ain't gonna say, yo, this is like I'm not the type. Like I want all club bangers. Like I just want type shit I can ride to, okay. and like I can listen to what you saying, and you not throwing me off. So I thought it, was it was too was much real. singing for me, man. I was like, damn, this nigga, his feelings right you now. You love Drake? Man. What are you talking about? That's different. That's my dad, bro. Like I'm gonna ride for my nigga regardless. And he got a song with um, oh. uh, what the fuck? Who, what R and B song he got? Money bag yo. Mm. Oh my god. Beats me. But Big Sean's Big Sean girl. Oh Janae. Echo. Yeah. Oh, I ain't hear that one. You ain't listened to the whole joint. I did so long. I got I got ADHD, bro. No, like when you not see, we're we're so used to those artists with like I, eight I eight am. records now. Yeah, because my attention span short. But he, shout out to my nigga Money Bag yeah. Yo, man. His shit went number one. I knew I wasn't tripping. I yeah. knew I wasn't it tripping. It went number one, and this is first one. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. So big ups to my guy, man. Uh, Tory Lanez and Chris Brown are talking about doing a joint album. Are we here for it? I am, and you a are? salute to Chris Brown for not like trying to blackball tour you know not yeah. if you fuck with somebody fuck with them no matter what don't not fuck with them because everybody else on some i mean and not for nothing chris brown that's what i'm saying that's kind of like two that. women uh, uh let's accuser, not even accuser, go there you know what I'm saying? but uh yeah that sound like it's gonna I be i mean fire. talent wise music wise <laughs> I it's it's a good combo. I, I definitely fuck with it. You know what I'm saying, um, they just announced the 2021 Billboard nominees. You know what I'm saying, and first of all, we got the weekend coming in at number one with 16 nominations. The baby got 11. My guy Pop Smoke got 10. Rest in peace. And Megan Thee Stallion has seven, and they're leading with those numbers right there. So hey. Big ups to my guys. Hopefully they win some. And you know what? It's well deserved for Pop it is. Smoke. I don't want to say it because you know when when artists pass away, they streams go up and stuff. But nah, he really got shit that can hold his. Nah, that whole album was fire. Yeah, and I heard they about to drop another album. A for Pop real? Smoke album. That yeah. nigga got music for days. Yeah, hopefully they ain't piece piece it together. Hopefully I hope it's not. like real records. Yeah, that other shit was fire. So yeah. big ups to my guy. Long live Pop Smoke, man. Fact. Your twin man, Coyla Ray's out here doing big things. You know what I'm saying? She was just on Fallon tonight. Fallon tonight showing love to the um to the black community, bro. Like they just had a little dirt on that motherfucker. Poo Shiesty. They had Poo Shiesty on that motherfucker. We lit. Woo! But you know what? White people love our shit, bro. Like you think they Poo Shiesty? That's my dog. Poo Poo, you know they, they be in there. They better not be. Yeah, bro. Poo Shiesty. <laughs> going crazy nah, but that's major wonder, for her man i wonder what's going on like who's to the make them, who, who's they the gotta music have some people yeah on the team facts i'm telling you get her i gotta see and y'all know we booked coyler ray first in atlanta man you know what i'm saying so big ass y'all you know saying coyler ray out here making big moves yes uh look kim finally is set to release her memoir this fall you know what i'm saying she said i finally get to tell my story i'm excited for that because she always in somebody else's story facts. but you never Being really have betrayed heard. That's how something. they want to show yeah. her so i'm excited it's a book you know what i'm saying so i'm gonna check it out i know you're gonna check it out yeah you know? I fuck. 
Yo, you stupid. I want to give a shout out to Coach K, man. He just received his bachelor and doctorate degree. That's major. That's dope. From St. Augustine, you know what I'm saying? Uh, his playmates, you know what I'm saying? Lil Yachty's out here on his other business endeavors. He has a new nail polish coming out. I'm not even going to try to pronounce it because I don't know how to you know, pronounce it. Um, it's, I don't know how to pronounce it. I'm not about to fuck it up. Creep. 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 You made it sound like it was like. <laughs> I know. It's <laughs> just. <laughs> yeah, All right, that's, so that's how different, do you feel though. about men dropping a nail polish line? I mean, go for it. Niggas wear nail polish. I'm I, not going to. I'm not going to Some lie. niggas wear nail polish. You know I ain't going to lie. I ain't mad at it, but I wouldn't necessarily want my son to wear it. Oh, yeah. So you think it's going to attract, like, niggas, like, boys? I don't know. But I that think, be that I think, weirdo like, no, shit, I think, you I know? think, like, um, a manicure with some clear and, yeah, like, some, like, cute. money signs. Yeah, yeah, that's Like, cute. that. I'll be cool if my son have that. that I don't know. Ass. Purple hands. Oh, no, not purple. What they got the tip? What they got the, the uh, first tip? tip? Oh, hell no. Nah. I'm fucking my son up. But, you know, Yachty, he, he puts a little <laughs> yeah. twist to it. But, you know, that is a good point. Shit. Well, I ain't really see the commercial, so maybe. It's some little Yachty shit, yeah. but, you know, it's going to look kids the yeah. you know, younger generation gonna follow through uh the pfizer ceo you know this is the you know the vaccine that's going on right now apparently they have a covid 19 antiviral pill that's gonna be released by the end of the I'm year i'm not a fucking pill. with how this. they coming up with all this stuff so quick but mm-hmm. still ain't got no cure for cancer mm, or a they capping bro this shit don't add up i'm not taking that pill but uh, you know, whatever, you know what I'm saying? Do what you do. Mm-mm. My aunt keep calling me talking about you don't get the back seat. No, my aunt called me too. Girl gave me a whole speech. I'm like, girl. Listen, I made it this far. Okay. <laughs> At this I, point. You know, the biggest thing to me is we don't know in the in the long run right. how it's gonna affect people. And it's already been having all kind of side effects like can't have babies, causing yeah. miscarriages. No. And why is affecting have no, all the the women? Why is it affecting the women? You ain't gonna most? have no third I mean six toe popping out of my foot. <laughs> What if a toes just start growing out? <laughs> I'll be like, hell no. Nah. That's disgusting. Nope. I want to give a shout out to big money bag Joe Biden, man. He's pushing oh. to increase minimum wage to 15 an hour, man, in the office doing major things. On the other hand, the vice president, she's catching some heat. Kamala Harris, they mad at her. We mad at her for saying that America is not a racist country. A lot of people don't agree with that. Do you agree with it? Hell yeah. That it's not a racist country? No. Oh, that it is a racist country. No, that we're mad at her. Oh, yes. We're (laughs) mad as fuck at you, man. Because, like, how you going to do that to us? But it's like... The first step is to accept. Ain't that for any addict and stuff? The first step is to accept. Yeah, man. Like, get the fuck out of here. Like, (laughs) no, for real. Because (laughs) motherfuckers have been oppressed for so many years. And it's just like... I can't believe she did that. I wonder if she regretted. Maybe her tongue got tired of some shit. I don't know. No, but... Mm. You walking on thin ice. We watching you. <laughs> we heard what you said. Oh. We watch you. <laughs> we what you. All right. So you know we love talking about little boys out here in Atlanta who be selling that water and whatnot. But unfortunately, Atlanta police are saying they may start issuing citations to the parents if they catch these kids out here selling waters. See, I- on the intersection. Only on the intersection. Are they handing um citations to the homeless people that be walking up? <laughs> Ask for fucking dollars. Them motherfuckers. Bruh, they be back to back. Like, bro, I just gave and two of your homeboys. Yo, and they'll stare you. I ain't you got it for everybody, bro. They'll stare you in your eyes. Oh, eye. God, we, bro. We be knowing we ain't reading that. We be like. Oh, God. Just, <laughs> just scrolling. They bold, man. Because it's like, bro. No. One time, this dude <laughs> had a sign. And he was like. I hope you have a good day, a better day than my smile or something, right? And me, and he was crossing the street, and me and my sister was like, what? And then he moved down the side and was smiling. All his teeth was going, and it was so you funny. T- did you tip him? I think we did. Like, he made nigga, you, you laugh, deserved man. it. Tip my yeah. guy, man. He made me yeah, laugh, but, man. Yeah, but uh, the water boys. They be a little aggressive sometimes. Yeah. Like, I was really fucking with them and supporting them, but then they just started putting their fingers on my window, and they started calling me a bitch and throwing a water bottle at me when I ain't had no singles on me. Like, damn, bro, like, I just ain't got the... They yeah. like, no, I got cash up. They didn't get cash up nowadays, bro, I'll tell when you. When they pulled out the little ATM, doing like... <laughs> like I got the damn. square. Nah, they but be out there hustling, I, but at I first get it. I was again. At first, I was like, yo, why y'all hating on, like, young yeah. boys trying to get by? I ain't gonna lie. It's the bad apples that's ruined. It's like... Some some of them are good little kids, but it's like those ones. It's just like the water don't even be cold. I think that's the <laughs> thing I'm mad at. Like, no, you did not just pull out your book bag. Oh God, man, we got my guy Fujiano, man. You know he was supposed to be the first thing popping from 1017. Well, he actually was. He was supposed to stay there, but unfortunately, it looks like it's gonna be a little halt. 
he has just been sentenced to five years Fuck. for cutting off his ankle monitor for a gun charge that apparently the gun wasn't even his. So I don't even know why he did that and not just cut off the ankle monitor. And when I heard about it, I'm like, damn, this nigga's still posting. He's on Instagram. So I'm like, his team might be running it. But damn, like, you cut your shit off and you have uh, shows. Like, how yeah, does that even work? Yeah, I don't work? know. Um, I believe Boo Man spoke on it and he basically said, like, he paid off all his fines and everything and he was supposed to be off. But they didn't oh. send in the paperwork. <laughs> so he just took advantage and just yeah, said, you know what? Yo, on you some real shit as an artist. Man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. of course you don't want to lose that money, but they know where you at. Right, right, right. You know <laughs> what I'm saying? Yeah, I didn't understand it when I first saw it in the beginning. Yeah. But, whew, all right, man. So it looks like we're moving forward, man. So, you know, last year we had a few losses. You know what I mean? One of those losses was Amar Arbery. This was the guy who was jogging in georgia he was drive, uh jogging through like a predominantly white neighborhood and he was killed well basically the case is still going on but recently the three men involved have been indicted on hate crimes and kidnapping charges so he's making some progress there on the other hand mr derek chauvin uh who was just found guilty for killing george floyd he's trying to file a motion for a new trial but he give it up you're guilty. You're going guilty to jail. Guilty as fuck. You're going to jail. Like, just give it he up. He better fucking And y'all go to better jail. fucking not because, give Because, you know, I think I might be even more mad yeah. if, if it got, like, acquitted or something to now. Like, don't fucking play for our emotions like that. On God, like, because who else getting trials again? Like, ain't nobody getting no retrials mm -hmm. like that, bro. So, just go ahead and do your time, man. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? As far as the progress report, we out here, you know, new interviews on the daily, man. Check our YouTube page, the progress report. Big up to my guy Lantana from Cincinnati. We got that new segment, uh, Producer Talk, Kid Class out now. We got that new blast of trash. Yes, I just dropped a new blast of trash for Johnny Blaze. People hey, are yeah. loving it. Um, I can say, say she yeah. actually had real solid music. And she had uh, features from Derez Deshaun, Pop Hunter, you know, Corvette, Corvette. Okay. Um, and his, his verse was hard, too, by the way. Uh, yeah, his verse was hard. Britt is one dancing ass person, y'all. I'm telling y'all, she really be it in her own zone. It only takes one. <laughs> but um, yeah. So it it was pretty dope. Y'all gotta watch that. Yeah, I saw uh, the numbers on that thing. Yeah, going crazy man. Big up Johnny Blaze. You know she also on that goddamn female cipher three. Yeah, we she pretty keep solid. Running yo, them Johnny, damn numbers up. Johnny Blaze is pretty solid. Nah, she is. All right, that's solid too. Ow. <laughs> all right, that's all we got for the weekly evaluation. You know what I'm saying? It's Boss Bird, the most lit. Your girl, DJ Excel. It's the progress support. Stay tuned. What's going on? It's your girl, Lala Shepard. Boss Bird, the most lit. What's up? It's your girl, DJ Excel. And look, we interview some of the biggest artists on the come up. Hey, man, if you ever in Atlanta, y'all make sure y'all hit us up now. Hey, hit us up today. It's where you need to be, man. A progress support. DM us right now. Let's go. We ain't stay at nine. Tune in every time. We don't do no cap. Report only facts. Crackers report. We got the news. New in the views. We got the stats. Keep it a rack. Don't join the pack. Know where we at. We ain't stay at nine. Tune in every time. We don't do no cap. Report only facts. Uh. Crackers report. We got the news. New in the views. We got the stats. Keep it a rack.